Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie... It's on the Paul Pluter channel. This is where I do paid reviews. This is the paid review channel. Guys, I'm doing paid review 23 QA 25. This is for... This is for Jay! And what am I wearing today? I'm wearing my bluesy, bluesy, bluesy submarina. Bluesy submarina. Actually, I'm just playing with it in my hand. I like to just, just, just play with my watch. Hi, Paul. I wanted to reach out for a paid review. Please call me Jay during the video if possible. I'm 24 years old and I'm starting the early phases of my collection. I've been watching your channel since my early days of timepiece exploration and I've always had an appreciation of your eye for shitters. I've liked watches since I was a kid and by the time I was mid to late teen I knew I wanted a Rolex told my dad I was heading to college about my interest and he said there's no way you're going to get a Rolex going into a year two of college I had saved up enough money to get an entry-level watch through working over the summer after some research I decided to get a black bay dark Reference 79230DK. It is a very enjoyable purchase, very elegant piece that was blacked out, a stylish, a style which I enjoyed at the time. After about six months, I ended up trading up to a Rolex Datejust 36mm with blue Roman dial. Awesome movement as I had just achieved my first Rolex. Bought it back. To when my pop said that I'd never get one, it was very fulfilling. Life lesson to work hard and grind to be able to get what you want. Throughout the remaining years of college, I continued to sell and scale the quality of my timepiece to the best of my ability. I owned a Rolex Explorer 2 216570 with polar dial after I had moved on from the date moved on from the date just. Then I moved from that to a Rolex 116710BLNR GMT Master 2 Batman 40mm. I think this was one of my less fond memories in the watch journey. The Explorer 2 was one of those special pieces I owned, as well as being the first big step up from a 36mm date just. I wish I held on to the Explorer 2 longer as opposed to trading it. Plus fair market value cash on top for a Daytona. Don't get me wrong, the Batman is beautiful. But I could have held on to the Explorer 2 for a great deal longer. And it's still, it's still being just as excited as when I got it. I just didn't feel the same way about the Batman for some reason. Just my personal preference, I guess. Having said that, I wasn't all struck by the Batman, so in the I was in the market for something unique that I could really call my own for the rest of life. So I wanted a tie piece with spice and flair, but without being overly tacky, I ended up landing on the Z Blue Milgaus one one six four zero zero GV. I can't say enough amazing things about this watch. The Z Blue and the Orange Lightning second hands is something special in the sun. I especially love the history behind the green tinted sapphire crystal and the fact that they did not patent the technology as they proclaim that no one could execute it nearly like Rolex does. Anyhow, I'll be passing this down to my kids one day hoping to continue the love for watches. Fast forward three years, I work a job in tech sales full time as well as run my own clothing company. I do not have the capital for a Rolex currently but I wanted to diversify my collection as I have what I think is one of the best and unique sports steel Rolexes. I wanted a new piece that was something more dressy that I could wear with a suit, preferably a chronograph. After a lot of intense searching, I landed on the Amiga Seamaster Moonwatch chronograph 42 with the Amiga 18, it says 1866 movement which is based on the 1861 movement except with the additional moon phase and date indicator. I have very recently purchased this watch. However, I am in love with it. I think it looks incredible, incredibly slick and can be dressed up very eloquently. However, I plan to wear it on special occasions, which is why I was excited and eager to have the historical piece such as this with a manual wine movement 48 hour power reserve. Additionally, this piece is in fantastic condition. I want to make sure 
to keep it that way. My question to you, sir, where do I go next? I have plenty of time and I'll be in the market probably for at least, a, I won't be in the market for at least one to two years. So there is no rush to make a decision currently. I know my collection is only two pieces, so I don't inherently have a set theme for my collection. Yet I'd love to hear your thoughts about a potential direction to go, ideally with a budget of under 30000 preferably. I sent you 85 bucks for a review. I'm tight on funds myself at my current stage in life, but after starting a business myself, I personally understand how great support is. So I don't want you to do the $50 minimum. Looking forward to your opinions. Cheers, mate. P.S. Please see attached photos of my old and current pieces along the way. If you want to use one to the show the majority, feel free uh, to use the last one attached of the Speedy and the Milgau side by side. Wow, what do I think of this? Look, this is a young guy who started his horological journey. It's journeys. We're going on a journey. And you know what? It's better to have loved and lust than to have never loved at all. Um, I got to tell you, interesting thing you say there, the Explorer 2 really pulled you in. I got to tell you, I feel the same way. I've had many ups and downs in my own life. Uh, businesses, business failure, you know, relationship, just everything just, 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 just goes wrong at times. And I've always found the Explorer 2 to be the perfect kind of watch to have there. And, um... I would say to you, man, you've got the Milgauss. I I actually owned a Z Blue, and I know exactly what you're talking about. Unfortunately, I was robbed. Burglars came into my studio and broke into my safe and stole everything. Absolutely everything. And, you know, that is a real pisser. i got to tell you this, man. I understand. I'd love to strap on my Milgauss now. Unfortunately, even though legally it still is my Milgauss, I have been relieved of that watch. You know, I would say to you, your story, I would say your best thing to get next would be another Explorer 2. I'd probably go for the black. I l love the Polar, but I always bought the Polar because they were cheaper. But the black, I think, is the traditional color. And it's a little bit cheaper now than the Polar. I don't know why. Fashion flim flam. You know in fashion, you know, one year it's cool, next year it's out. It's just very fickle fikers. So for you, I think it's beautiful. You've got an Omega and you've got a Rolex. Man, you've made it. You're climbing the tree to success. The Z Blue, I would have probably gone for a more traditional man on the moon i like the more traditional non-moon fay i like you know that's me but you put your own stamp on it you've got one that works for you and that is the main thing it works for you and you love it there's nothing wrong with that so in all honesty there i'd be happy with what you have be content be peace be at peace love what you have and enjoy it that's the important thing you've got to enjoy your watches enjoy them enjoy them enjoy them and before we know it life we 10 years goes by so my advice to you congratulations you got your own business you're kicking ass you're kicking goals i would say to you i always say you know you want to build a collection chronograph diver gmt that three simple rule formula and then a wind and wear you got the wind and wear in the Milgauss Steel Sports. You got the chronograph in the Speedy. I'd add an Explorer 2, and then I'd add a diver, maybe a Tudor Black Bay. Fantastic diver to have there. The important thing is you set goals for yourself and you work towards them. These are achievements that you need to celebrate yourself because at the end of the day, you're the one who decides what you love and like. Fashion is a fickle business, as you know. Stick with the program of what you love. Get that Explorer 2 back. Add to your collection. Do not give up. I think the best collectors are ones who do it with grit and determination. These are the most important elements to success. And i got to tell you, I'm very proud of you, Jay. 
You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. Okay, guys, that's the video for today. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments. And remember, guys, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need more paid reviews to keep me full-time on YouTube. Paid reviews help me survive. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. $50 for a paid review. Look down below in the description. Send me pics, send me details, and I will tell you what I think of your collection. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a rolex at retail it's futile please guys save your dignity keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch go to david sw david sw David S.W. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, we, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it, and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want, and it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area, and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.